Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Liam. I'm one half of DeploymentZone.tv and that's a website with loads of extra 40k content on it that's owned by myself and Winters from the YouTube channel Winters SEO. And today I'm talking about new chaos models that aren't new chaos models. Bear with me, right? You guys may have seen over social media over the course of the last, I don't know, few months, at least two or three months, um, that there has been new sculpts on Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube social media posts from the guys at Mini Wargaming, specifically from Dave at Mini Wargaming. And Dave has taken it upon himself to commission a company to build him a custom set of sci-fi miniatures. Now, I need to add a caveat in right now for Dave. These are not 40k miniatures. They are custom miniatures that are his model range that he is making with the company, whose name already escapes me. I'm sorry for the company. However, <laughs> however, these are not actual chaos models. But, but Dave was kind enough to send me through a unit of five of these models. Um, now, these are a plastic or resin um, concept sculpts. This is not the final product. The final product will be a high quality PVC plastic. But this is basically the sculpts. Um, I've now seen from Dave the final sculpts, which are even more detailed than these. And that's saying something because these are pretty impressive in themselves. And um, it got me thinking. Now, I'd like to think we all know Mini Wargaming Dave. I'd like to think we all know his inspirations, right? So Mini Wargaming Dave is an avid Chaos Space Marine player. He's a devout worshipper of Corn, and he has definitely been sent to this planet by the Blood God himself. Uh, and so that was one of his main inspirations, I would like to think. But what he's also said is he's taken inspirations from things like The Witcher and from Vikings and from those kinds of shows and games, etc. And, and you can definitely see some of that aesthetic in these models. But when I got them and I knew about his influences i instantly thought chaos space marine sculpts uh, and i looked on the website and i continued to think chaos space marine sculpts and it got me wondering how do i integrate these into the eternal slaughter what can i use them as so what i did is i went onto the page and i'll take you through the page soon and i started looking at all of the options that they have available in the four packs that you can pledge to during the the time frame that you can pledge and get this right you can pledge for eight days eight hours eight minutes and eight seconds is that the most Dave thing you've ever heard? It's definitely the most Dave thing I've ever heard. Um, but I started to look how I could integrate these into the Eternal Slaughter. I went and looked at the page. And when I looked through the page, when I scrolled through the model range on the page, I actually thought bigger than just integrating a unit into the Eternal Slaughter. I, I think it's possible to make a whole Chaos Space Marine army from just these model range, this model range alone. Now, this model range is called the Veil Touched, the armies of the Veil Stu the, the, the armies of the Veil Touched. You can Google Veil Touched by Mini Wargaming or Veil Touched Miniatures, and they will pop up. But better for me is if you go into the video description below, there's a link right at the top. That link will take you to the pledge page. That link is specific to me. Now, I don't get any kickback. I get no money from this link. It just tells Mini Wargaming Dave that you came from me, right? So use that link so I look popular. That's the key, because I want more of these from him. Um, and what I'm going to do later in the video is I'm going to take you through the pledge page. I'm going to take you through the different packs. I'm going to show you what I think things... So what I was going to do originally was I'm going to do side by size. These look like these, these look like these. But actually going through the images on the website, I don't think I need to do that, because I think it's pretty obvious. And I, Dave might not forgive me for saying that, but I think it's pretty obvious as to what is what. Um, so we're going to go through that. We're going to look at them. Um, we're going to look at what they could be, what they could proxy as, because I, I personally believe that you could make a full Chaos Space Marine army from this model range. Now, talking to Dave, this is first model range that he's doing. If it's successful, he may decide to commission other model ranges that look like or are similar to other factions. Um, point to note, you can use these in all kinds of systems. Um, you could use this in D&D, &D, for example. It doesn't have its own game system yet. But again, if he was to add more factions, I wouldn't mind betting. We probably could convince Dave to write himself a rules, uh, a rules pack as well. Maybe there could be rules. He says there's custom narrative coming. Um, it all sounds very, very exciting. I'm not going to give too much away because I don't know how much of this... I can tell you, but what I can tell you is at the point this video goes live on YouTube, you can now go to the page and pledge for this kind of Kickstarter. It's called GameFound. The website's a GameFound website. It's kind of Kickstarter, basically. You pledge, um, and you get loads of benefits for pledging during that sort of phase as well. There's like extra kits and stuff, I think, from what you told me. Now, point to note, you're not buying STL files. You are buying physical miniatures. This is more, more in line with Games Workshop. 
um, than in line with other companies that sell you STL files. So you're not buying the files to print on your own 3D printer. You will be buying model packs. Um, the pricing, when <laughs> if you do what I've done and you compare it to Games Workshop, which you could do, you could do this if you were if you had some time on your hands and you worked out what which was which was in each box and what you would use it as if you were running a Chaos Space Marine Army, and you then you compared it to the price range in Games Workshop, you realise that there's a monumental saving to be made comparatively. Obviously, you may have problems at certain events or certain tournaments. You definitely have problems at Games Workshop based tournaments because they probably wouldn't let you run these at all. But amongst your friendly local gaming group amongst your mates amongst your friends i might even use them for champion of chaos if dave lets me um these are definitely proxies definitely proxies so i think i've covered that all right so the pledge will be live at the point in which this video is live if i get this up in time if it gets up a little bit later it's definitely live um it's only live for eight days eight hours eight minutes and eight seconds make sure you jump on that using the link below um i'm super excited to support mini wargaming and support dave with this because i think it's exciting and it's cool right having another company that are making a model range is only good for tabletop hobby so what's not to love about this what's not to love about feeding chaos dave's dreams maybe that's not a good idea anyway let's jump into the website so if you click the link below, you'll get to this web page. Um, if I've done this right, there'll be a nice little picture in picture that will show off what I'm doing live so I can talk you through what's going on. And here is Ravage Star Armies of the Veil Touched by Mini Wargaming, as you can see right at the top. Um, it says campaign launch in six hours. That might be because I'm recording this Tuesday morning um, because I had a conversation with Dave last night after I had streamed with Winters yesterday. And people had said, can you proxies for Chaos Space Marines? Can we use these at DempseyCon? I was like, actually, that's an interesting question. And that's why I started digging into these to see how many of these would be usable as chaos space marines so here's the home page if you look at the home page this campaign launch thing probably won't be there there's some updates from mini wargaming um, and then you can go down and look at some of the extra stuff that occurs some of the packs that you can purchase some of the pledge levels etc 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 this is your home page and this is where they've got stretch goals so there's four stretch goals to unlock as well which is quite interesting none unlocked right out and some add-ons which are alternative miniatures there's also video from dave etc so this is your home page right this is where you want to go if you want to have a look a little bit more at this product and at what the veil touched project so the first pledge level is the veil touched war pack okay this is like a core of a, he's gonna hate me it's like a core of a space marine army so if you scroll down it gives you the price 120 bucks like i said trust me put this onto games workshop and work out that it's like a 330 bucks and see how much money you're saving um so you've got lord davicus lord dave he's gonna be if i get hold of him he's lord dave from now on just so everyone's aware um you've got 12 Asalian Executioners, 12 Veil Touched Enforcers, 12 Asalian Marauders, 12 Veil Touched Valkyries, and 6 Reborn, right? So let's have a look at this model range. This is where I was going to do side by side, but I really don't think I need to. And if we look at um, this guy here with the axe, this is one of the guys I have on my model pack right here. Um, and I do have, hang on, hang on a minute, wait one. And here is a Gravis Marine stood next to the Chaos Space Marines. I mean, the Gravis Marines are on a slightly raised base, right? But otherwise, you can see that the scale is pretty similar to Gravis Marines. So uh, they're like Chaos Space Marines, but 10 to 15% bigger, I would suggest. Um, it's almost like they've been, you know, they've been tainted by 10,000 years of dark energy, dark power, and by the Chaos Gods. Almost like they're the correct scale. Uh, so anyway, Lord Davicus, he is the Lord, um, who might happen to be on the same base size as... A chaos lord convenient that in it uh, and then we have the um butchers here now the butchers if it was me if i was looking at this as a chaos space marine player they look very similar to corn berserkers butchers corn berserkers interesting um there's axes and chainsaws on each of them um i mean look at the sculpts team right they're absolutely beautiful they're stunning i wonder if i can zoom in a bit can i zoom in a bit i can zoom in a bit here's, here's this look. there you go this is even better than there we go look at that right so um we've got some butchers here there's an icon could be like an icon of wrath there's chain sword looking things and chain axe looking things which are pretty tasty right and the assalian uh, flag bearer uh, the 10 cleavers i guess these are all cleavers and he's the butcher so if he's the butcher i'm assuming he's like the squad champion he's like a chaos champion i would guess right and the butchers uh sorry the uh, cleavers here are the corn berserkers so you get how many of these do you get you get oh, what does it say 
they must be executioners, I would guess. Okay, I'm guessing here. So they must be executioners. They look like corn berserkers. So you get 12 of these in the box. You then get the um, Veil Touched Harbinger and the Veil Touched Commandos. So these look very much like Chaos Space Marines. They're almost carrying bolt guns. He looks like he's got kind of a power fist and kind of a plasma pistol. The Veil Touched Kings there. So he looks like he could be the champion again. Um, and these guys have all got bolt guns. More bolt guns. Or I say I say they've got bolt guns. They've got weapons that look like they could be bolt guns if you wanted them to be. You've got another icon if you wanted to put the icon in the squad as well. Um, but just look at the detail on these. They are absolutely beautiful. One thing I really love about this model range, actually, one thing I said this to Dave yesterday, one of the things I love about it the most is the heads are still quite human. Um, they're not crazy, crazy tainted by chaos. So you you could even, if you were so inclined, use these loyalists if you wanted to. You wouldn't necessarily have to use these as chaos space marines. There's reasons why I've gone down the route of chaos space marines. One because it's mini war game in Dave. Two because it's me. And three for reasons I'll show you later in terms of the model range. But that's the uh, veil touched commandos. That's the enforcers right there. Then you have this is another butcher. There's another flag bearer, and then you've got guys with axes and pistols so you could use these as chaos space marines you could use these as chosen i guess that would probably make sense um but yet more beautiful sculpts still looking quite chaosy with horns and stuff um, i'm loving some of the posing on these as well they're quite dynamic which is i'm a big fan of so that's your marauders then you've got this i love by the way so these are the valkyries right and you have lady Machis mac maximia Right, and then you've got the rest of the Valkyries, including a Harbringer. These are female warriors. Uh, they look incredible. What amazing sculpts! Amazing sculpts. I'm loving the the robes that sit around the waists. Um, that you could use. You could use these as Sisters of Battle, I reckon, or maybe even Sisters of Silence. They're essentially kept wielding bolt guns and chainswords. Stunning, stunning models. Big, big fan of these. So that's your Valkyries. Um. And then you get the Ascended Elite Pack. What's this? What's this? Even more. These have got, like, combi weapons everywhere. The Reborn have got combi weapons everywhere. So they could be... Reborn could be chosen, I guess. With com They look like combi melters. If I was a guessing man, I'd call them combi melters. So the Reborn are, are pretty sweet units as well. So that's the first box set, right? We've already looked like we've got six chosen. Lots of options for Chaos Space Marines. You could use the Valks as Chaos Space Marines. The Valkyrs, I'm going to call them Valkyrs. You could use those as Chaos Space Marines. You can use the, the Marauders right at the top as um, Berserkers. You've got Berserkers, you've got Chaos Space Marines, you've got a Lord, and you've got some Chosen. You see how that already could be a Chaos Space Marine core army at 120 bucks. Good deal, I think. Then we move on to the Dominion, the Dominoran War Pack, right? Second pledge, same value, same price, I should say. Um, but you get even more stuff in here as well. So this is a second pack. This is four packs in total. You can buy all four packs together. I think there's a discount if you put them all together as well. Um, you get another Lord Davicus, which is cool. He's got that's kind of like a it's kind of like a Talon of Horus. It's kind of like a Drachnian, right? I'm just I'm just saying. But this is Lord, Lord Davicus the Corrupted. So he is. Not the same as the other Lord Davicus. You've got a different version of him, which is interesting. There's some Unbroken. There's Cult of the Veil. There's Aslian Goretti, the Servants of Aslia. You, you can read it, right? I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna murder all his names. I don't want to murder all his names. Um, so these look very. These could. This is interesting. These are cultisty, but I reckon they could also be used in Necromunda, and they definitely can be used in uh, in D and D. So um, lots of cultisty looking kind of. Um, models right here again the sculpts the haircuts I, i'm absolutely mad for these they look amazing the dominoran unbroken so they're sweet cool looking models we scroll down we've got more cultist looking models and that's fair let's be fair right the current cultist range there's nothing to write home about is it so lots more cultist models cult of the veil now these look very don't they look very havocky Oh, I should also mention, by the way, of the previous pack, they're all on 32mm bases apart from the Lord. In this pack, uh, these ha might happen to be on 25mm bases, and these might happen to be on obliterator size bases. I can't remember what size they are, but I've asked Dave, and he said, yeah, they're the same as obliterator size bases. Not that they're not the same as obliterators. they got the same base size as obliterators. Not obliterators, Havocs. That's what I meant, Havocs. You know the ones, so guns. Um, so, um, I mean, we've got a chain cannon. We've got what looks like a kind of heavy bolter. Um, I'm a big fan of these. They're really cool looking, big, hefty weapons. They look nice. 
Um, I love the basing as well, by the way. And I should also mention when these are printed as PVC, they're pretty much pretty much one piece kits. So you're going to get them as whole models there or thereabouts. There's a couple, so I had to stick on the icon on this guy with his arm, arm, super clean fit. Just glued it on, done. Seconds didn't take any long at all. But so most of these will come in one or two pieces. So that's the Gretti, the Gretti are Havocs, right? Basically, sorry, Dave, they're Havocs. Uh, we then move on to the uh, servants of Slea. These are more cult. These are definitely cultists, Dave. Look at these. I don't think I've seen anything more cultists than these cultists. They're hundred percent cultists. So twenty-five mil bases. Um, we've got the flame smith, and we've got what is more Gretti. These are probably missile launchers. They look similar to last cannons. They're tank slayers, right? And neutralizers. They're havocs. There's more havocs. Um, <laughs> you've got the abominations elite pack. I mean, obliterators. This is why I kept saying obliterators earlier, because these are obliterators, but probably cooler sculpts than the actual obliterators. Look at them. They're also on obliterator size bases, just so you guys are aware. Right. Everything everything works. If it the rule I learned when I was questioning Dave, and he was he was being careful, and I get why he's being careful, right? But the rule I learned was if it looks like a Chaos Space Marine, it's on a 32mm base. If it looks like an obliterator, it's on an obliterator base. If it looks like a Terminator, it's on a Terminator base. If it looks like a Havoc, it's on a Havoc base. So the base sizes are all correct. All of the Lords, however, are on Chaos Lord bases. So the one that looks a little bit like Abaddon above, he's not on an Abaddon size base. He'd have to rebase him, and I don't know if you'd want to do that because it would look different to the rest of the army aesthetic. But... Um, so that's the uh, the Asalian 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 abominations. They're um they're obliterators. Let's be honest. Third box right now. We're on box number three. Um, I wasn't going to make this video a long one, and I'm thinking it's now going to be maybe slightly longer than I originally intended. But I wanted to get all of this across to you guys for Dave about what these things because there's nothing in this that I can't. I don't think there's nothing in this that I can't proxy in the Chaos Army. Everything's usable. Everything in this whole pledge is usable and it's it's all stunningly sculpted. And these ones that he sent through to me, which are the prototypes, so they're not the finished quality, are also stunning. And he said, oh yeah, then the finished are better than these. Blew me away. So this is the Armoured Carnage War Pack. 150 bucks for this one. You've got another Lord and a spoiler. Um, so he looks like a Terminator Lord and he looks like a normal Lord. So they'll be on the relevant bases right and then we have um the first slayers first like first company slayers right so like terminators all with power fists all with what looks like combi bolters kind of um super cool sculpts again quite dynamic the only one i'm not sold on dave i'm sorry i'm sorry is that one who looks like he's taking a bit of a poo but the rest of them are really really good i really really love them um they look amazing uh, we then move down to now this is the ones that i struggled with slightly only because Chaos players can't take Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. And these look suspiciously like Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. So they might be the only one. But what I thought was maybe you could use these as mutilators, perhaps. I don't know. Just as a thought, mutilators would be an idea for these. But they look incredible. I, you could use them for a loyalist army as uh, assault terminators um and their posing is of these is unbelievably cool i love these um this guy here strolling forward with his hammer held high is amazing and him looking for the yeah beautiful right so the black scavels they're thunder hammer tournament terminators you i would be okay with anyone using these in a chaos space marine list as mutilators i'd be okay with them using them as terminators to be, to be honest with you um and you never know maybe one day maybe one day chaos space marines will get all the loyalist toys maybe one day <laughs> um we then have the um veil touched uh Volkovi. so these are more assault terminators kind of look at them they're basically dual lightning claws kind of i mean two claws instead of three but they're, they're dual lightning claws right so more sweet terminators each of these have got their own champion as well which is is really nice the detail the detail is insane um, we then have the um what they call the VTAC Carnage, the Veil Touched Convoy. Um, these are so I asked Dave this specifically because these are these were slightly harder to place. I wasn't sure looking at these images whether they were rhinos or land raiders. Now Dave's told me that they are bigger than a rhino, smaller than a land raider, but they're only slightly bigger than a rhino. So if I was going to use these, I was going I would probably use these as rhinos. The reason why I asked about them was because of these on the side. They kind of look like land raider sponsors. So I was curious, and there's double tracks here, right? So I was curious as to whether they were land raiders. But no, they're probably more rhino scale than they are land raider scale. They've got like a Havoc missile launcher on the side. And I guess we could use, use these as combi bolters. But again, they look super cool. They look heavily armoured. They look chaos -y to me with all the spikes. It's just amazing. Um, and then there's the elite pack, which gives you this gunner at the top, which is just super cool. 
Super, super cool. Okay. Um, MRF's Escort, the Blockade Breaker. Amazing. Love it. So the final pack you can pick up is the Horrors of the Veil War Pack. 170 bucks for this. Um, you get the Veil War Pack and the Devourer Elite Pack, right? Um, all this stuff says it ships later in the year. Um, but Horrors of the Veil. It sounds quite demony. Let's have a scroll down. Oh, look. <laughs> There's a Lord on a giant thing. I mean, this was hard for me to place. And then I, I reckon I, I would probably make this a Lord Discordant. If I was going to make anything, this is kind of like... So Dave said this is kind of Morlafine size-ish. Because um, originally I was like, oh, it could be a Lord on Juggernaut. But it's probably too big for a Chaos Lord on Juggernaut. Um, and I think they're Legends anyway now, right? So it's probably more a Lord Discordant. Um, but super cool anyway, um, because it looks like a big angry demon, armoured demon with a Lord on the back. So I'll probably stick him as a Lord Discordant. Uh, we've then got um, the Dread Terror, very similar to Demon Prince with Wings, very similar to Demon Prince with Wings in terms of size, base size confirmed, um, but looks really, really cool. <laughs> we then have uh, Yashara, the Shepherd of the Damned. Now, um, she is essentially bloodthirster sized, um, but I guess you could probably use her as, if you wanted to, you could use her as a Keeper of Secrets as well, couldn't you? I assume, well, Keepers that have wings, but she's great at Demon Size. So ultimately, if you wanted a greater demon in your army or in and around your Chaos Space Marine army, then you have this model here. Again, stunning amounts of detail. The one thing I'm dreading is painting it all because the detail is incredible. Um, and that doesn't that's not conducive of me being good at this. Uh, we then have the Sorrow Spike. So these guys are... Um, he, he is the same base size as a greater possessed, which I think is 40 millimeters. These guys are the same base size as possessed. If there's one thing we've needed forever in the Chaos Space Marine range, it's new Possessed models, as well as new Berserkers, it's new Possessed models. So in these four packs, you basically get new Berserkers and you get new Possessed. <clears throat> I mean, they're not Berserkers. You get models you could use as Berserkers, you get models you could... Just clarifying, right? I know Games Workshop watch these videos. I know that nowadays because they phoned me about one of mine in the past. Um, so these are basically Possessed, but they also look quite... I, I, was, I had to ask him the question about base size, and the reason why I asked him the question about base size, and I'm, I was trying not to give away too much about what I was going to do in the video, was simply because... This looks very um, uh, Chaos Spawny, but no, the base size is a possess. If you wanted to make them Chaos Spawn, you'd have to upscale the base size. Um, so yeah, there's lots of possessed stuff there, um, and a greater possessed, which is nice. We then move into more of the same. Um, again, greater possessed, possessed sized, right? So Sorrow, Sorrow Spikes are basically possessed. I'm sorry, Dave, but they are. And then we have this thing, the uh, Asalian Devourer. I mean... I don't think I need to tell you what that looks like. It, it might be a Chaos Mauler Fiend. If I was going to use it, it would probably be a Chaos Mauler Fiend, personally. Um, looks very aliens on the front, and everyone's going to shout at me because I've never seen the, the movie. How can you know? Because I've seen the imagery everywhere. And we've got these these massive tentacles coming out the back of it, which look very Lasher tendril -y. And there's four of them in total. Um, looks super, super cool. Really amazing model. I'm a big fan. And that is the end of the four war packs. Now, I said to you when we looked at the front page, there was also some expansions. Here are the expansions here. There's the Headhunter Squad Pack and the Execution Squad Pack. If you click on these, you can scroll down. And there's basically alternate poses of the same types of models um, to give you some more variety. So you have... Because um, they're, they're kind of monopose, so these you can't pose these, they're monopose models. This gives you more variety that you can mix into your unit um, for these guys would be kind of Chaos Space Marines or Chosen, I would guess, because they've got the pistols and the melee weapons or just the, the guns. And then the Veil Touch Executioner Squad Pack is um, kind of more berserkers. Look at that pose. This is one of my favourite poses I've seen of all of the kits. I just think it's incredible. This guy's weapon is amazing. This is a chain axe and chain sword blade type thing combined. Who doesn't want that weapon? But yeah, this pose, this pose has done it for me. The guy with the double-handed sword, it's incredible. Like the Emperor's Champion, but better. Um, so these are, some of these, like you can see the Viking themes here as well, right? Super, super, super cool models. But these are expansion packs if you want to make sure you've got lots of variety in your Chaos Space Marine, not Chaos Space Marine army. So that is Dave's mind, isn't it? Spewed into miniature form. I don't think there's any other way we can describe that as Dave's mind spewed into miniature form. It's, there's, they're glorious packs. There's four incredible packs. I'm strongly, strongly, strongly considering, genuinely considering picking all of them up myself. 
um, to make a Chaos Space Marine army solely out of the Veil Touch, just because I think it would look incredible. We'd only be able to use it on YouTube and DeploymentZone.tv. I wouldn't be able to use it at tournaments or Games Workshop events, but it's super unique, it's super pretty, and the scale is, is bigger and better, and bigger's always better. I've been told that, bigger's always better. So, we might do this. Like I said, having had the conversation with Mini Wargaming Dave, he is contemplating more model ranges in the future that aren't Veil Touch, but are different factions, and maybe even accompanying them with their own unique lore and a gaming system. More gaming systems for the tabletop and the tabletop community is only ever a good thing. So if we want that to become a reality, we're going to need to support this. This is going to need to do well, because if this doesn't do well, he's going to go, well, there's no real point in doing... Um, any other model ranges if we look at value for money and we compare it directly to games workshop not other gaming systems but games workshop the value is incredible i even think that with the eu import charges etc it still works out a better value than games workshop um so let's support it because in the future he might make a new gaming system that we all love and um, it might be the next 40k who knows um, Dave's a super nice guy. The guys at Mini Wargaming are incredible. So I would love to see this be a success. If you want it to be a success, if you want to see it do well, make sure you hit that link below so that he knows you came from me. Um, and let's start making Chaos Space Marines armies out of Veil Touched because that would be super cool. So the last thing I want to say before I finish this video is these were sent through by the amazing Mini Wargaming Dave for free for me to review for you guys. This isn't a paid video. It's not a sponsored video. I'm just giving you my honest thought process and I wanted to showcase the models, but actually if you go on Instagram, loads of people have done that already. So I was looking at it from a different angle. How could we as 40K players enjoy this gaming system? Now I'm super interested, as I've already said on a couple of occasions, to see if Dave can push forward in the future and make his own gaming system and what that would look like and how that would play, because I think it would be loads of fun. But at the moment that doesn't exist. This is just a random model range. I don't play D&D. I don't play anything but 40K right now. I might just be starting Age of Sigma but I don't play anything other than 40k. So I was thinking, how can I use this? How can the community that play 40k with me use these? And we had some questions in the winter stream yesterday that asked us about scale comparisons. Um, and I've shown you them against the... Um, I should probably do that on the big screen, shouldn't I? Show you it against the... Um, so here is the Chaos Models. Here is the, basically, Corn Berserkers. And here is a Gravis Space Marine on a raised base. So if I take him off of his raised base and put his feet about the same height, right... They're about the same scale as Gravis Space Marines. They're like Chaos Space Marines should be. Um, so he may or may not thank me for comparing them all directly to the Chaos Space Marine range, but I think something that's interesting for the community to see is how they could be proxied, what each model kind of looks like, and where they're similar. Um, interestingly, I had the chat with him about base sizes. There was a little bit of a grin on his face yesterday. I think he kind of knew where I was going with the video, but he didn't ask. Uh, because I was curious as to whether the Space Marine looking ones were on 32mm bases and if the Terminator ones were on 40mm bases and if the Morlefine looking thing was on the same size as the Morlefine base. Turns out they all are. Coincidence, right? Absolute coincidence. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you are looking forward to Veil Touch as much as I am. Please make sure you jump in the comments below. Let me know if you are looking forward to it or if you are going to pledge. If you are going to pledge, make sure you use that link because he knows that then I'm the most popular person in the 40k space, right? True. If you love the video and you want to see more of these videos, then please make sure you give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can catch more of these. Um, and if you really want to support the channel, there's two other ways you can do that. You can either become a member uh, for as little as £2 a month, or you can join the amazing team at deploymentzone.tv um, for loads of extra video content, and where you might see these guys in the future in a campaign if I can get enough of them off of Mini Wargaming Dave. I'm just saying, Dave. I'm just saying. Uh, please let me know what you think about this project. Please let me know if you would actually consider using these as proxies in a Chaos Space Marine army. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh.